Good morning, Bulldogs. My name is Ashley Nieto, and here today's morning announcement. Are you interested in the legal system? Do you have a knack for public speaking? If you answered yes to any of these questions, mock trial may be the place for you. We will participate in a mock court case, preparing for and practicing different paths of our case, like real attorneys. In addition, we will have spots open for witnesses who act as characters in our case. For details, please contact Ms. Linda Brown at linda.brown at osceolaschools.net. Seniors, the deadline to purchase senior ad in the yearbook is September 30th. See Mr. Bullock in room 3313 for details. The deadline to have your senior portraits taken with DSP is October 1st. Schedule your appointment with them today or miss out on being in the yearbook. Visit dsp.photo.com for more information. Instead of being in the spotlight or making magic behind the scenes, St. Cloud Theater Company is holding auditions for the first production this year in Midsummer Night's Dream. All students are encouraged to audition. Join us Monday in the auditorium to learn more about the show and what you prepare. Auditions will be on Tuesday at 2.30. Need help in math? Moo Alpha Theta is here to help. Tutor will be Tuesdays and Thursdays after school until 3.30 in room 3117. And now, here's Gabby with your sports announcements. Hi, St. Cloud High School. I'm Gabby Quintana with your sports announcement. The girls' weightlifting team will have the preseason meeting next Wednesday, September 30th, and Coach Andre 6109 after school at 1.30. All girls are welcome, and Coach On needs new lifters, so please come next Wednesday after school. The football team will open its season tonight at Home Against Celebration. Remember, if you want to buy tickets, visit the school website at Hometown Ticketing. And here are our football team's interviews. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Coach Smart here with St. Cloud High School football team. Uh, looking forward to seeing everybody on Friday night. We're taking all kind of precautions here. We're doing uh, temperature checks. Uh, you know, we're cleaning their gear daily. The kids are doing a great job. Coaches are doing a great job. Uh, we're washing their equipment every single day. And, you know, I think that especially Coach On, he's really taking charge here. And uh, we're so lucky to have him. I'm feeling really good. I mean, we haven't played a game in a long time, um, but we have 27 seniors and, you know, we're lucky to have you know, we're lucky to have that. And, you know, we haven't played a game since October 30th. And, you know, we're really looking forward to Friday night. So hopefully we can get a bunch of Bulldogs out here supporting us. We need all the support we can get. And I look forward to seeing everybody. I expect the same thing all the time. Uh, nothing changes. Uh, you know, we have, we have wonderful kids and they work hard all the time. We expect a great effort and nothing will change on, you know, just because we haven't played a game in 11 months. Nothing will change, and like I said, we have 27 seniors, and they lead the way, and we're looking forward to a great effort on Friday night. We have a couple new things. You know, uh, on the defensive side of the ball, we have Coach Prowl, who's all the way in from Wisconsin. He's done an unbelievable job, and calling the offense this year is Coach Rienzi, and he's in building three as well, and, you know, he's bringing in a lot of new, innovative ideas, and, you know, we're looking forward to scoring a bunch of points. This year is highly anticipated. I think we're better than last year, so and it's our senior year, so we're ready to go. We've been waiting for this all four years, so we're gonna give it all we got. Yeah, we're gonna we gonna come out strong, hopefully get a dub this Friday. And yeah, keep going. One by one. Uh, I've never been more excited for a football season in my life. I mean it's my senior year. I've been playing to this point to get to this point, so I can't wait. Knowing well, this is our last season is kinda of heartbreaking because it's my last time with my family. Yeah, but my whole life I've been looking forward to this year and like now that it's actually here, I kind of don't want it to be over, but you know, bigger and better things are coming, so yeah. Corona really helped me like grind because like once we was at home, we had to do workouts by ourselves and it helped us like compete with each other online. So we just posted our stuff on Twitter and we went at it. It made us work smarter, not harder. Yeah, and it really just showed what the senior class was made out of because it's our last season and we didn't know if we were going to have it. So we just kept grinding and finally we're here. Um, in my opinion, if we didn't have any fans, it wouldn't change much for me because once that ball snaps, I mean, it's like you go deaf and you can't hear anyone in the stands, you can't hear the cheering, you're just locked in, ready to go. So it wouldn't change much for me. In my opinion, if people are here or not, like I'm still going to play to my fullest potential and all that, I'm not going to care. I want to believe that I would play the same, but I truly don't know. The fans really like bring that aspect to the game. So, you know, I need them. <laughs> Look. I grown throughout the years because my freshman year, I was pretty bad, but throughout the right coaching and everything else, I progressed, so now I am where I am now. My 
my vision got clear and my focus got bigger. Uh, my freshman year, I was just a scared little kid. I didn't know what I was doing, but um, the longer I've been on the varsity level, the slower the games got, so it's starting to really come easy to me now. My favorite moment is a singular moment. It's uh, after we win, we go out to IHOP, and pretty much everyone on the team, we talk about what happened during the game, just celebrate with our family, so it's great. My favorite moment is after the game, all the players in the band, we get together and we get hyped. My favorite moment was my sophomore year. I came on a blitz from the edge, and I laid the quarterback out, and I got my first fumble recovery, and I scored. All right, goal line, get your tickets Friday night. We playing celebration, 7.30. It's gonna be a slaughter. You already know the deal. Pull up. We out though. Hey, 11, 19, 10. Come you out know Friday night at 7 30. We're finna go dumb. And that's it for our morning announcement. So please have a fantastic Bulldog Day.